Hello everyone. Welcome to HelpMath.com. Today, we will use Excel program to find the binomial probability. So as you know, maybe in class, you learn the binomial probability formula like this. But the difficulty of using this formula, you need to find out each cases and then combine them if the question asks you more than one cases. For example, so look at this side here. If the question asks you exactly maybe three females or exactly five females, something like that, then you only using uh, this formula once. However, like uh, less than four females or more than five females, something like that, then you need to find out multiple cases and combine them. So it is pretty inconvenient. So this time, we're going to use Excel algorithm and then make it a little bit easier. Okay? So look at this table and then let's keep doing this Excel project here. So the randomly select 10 people. Okay, that's why I put n equal to 10 already. Now, um, exactly three females, which means you need to find out the probability female first. So, probability female, which is right here. So, I can put 0.53. Okay. Then since we select 10 female, then we have total 11 different cases. So first case is we select no female. The second case is one female. So until we select all 10 females. So just make it like that. Okay. Then now uh, we can um, just make algorithm binomial probability so follow me carefully so look at uh click this blank and then make equal sign and put binomial so b i n o then you see uh the first one binomial distribution click that then now we're gonna find out number of cases which is zero and comma and what's the total numbers? 10. But here, uh, we keep using this number over and over, right? So whenever we fix this number and we continue to use it, then you must put here dollar sign. This dollar sign basically meaning is we fix and we keep using it. And probability, which is 0.53, but still. We keep using this number over and over. So also put dollar sign here. Now, since it is the true probability, you know, this time must be false. Okay. And then close the parentheses, enter. Then you found uh, out of 10 people, you select zero female. Okay, now copy this and then keep scrolling down then you will see all these different probability just make sure this is true probability then find out all of them and you get the one so we found a uh, correct probability for each cases and now we can answer those questions so first of all exactly three females So that is equal to now this numbers, right? Okay. And that's it. Now less than four female. Less than four female. It means you know three, two, one, zero, those cases, right? So simply you can click all of them and click zero two. Mm -hmm. Three, and then you got those. You got the answer for this. Now B 
between six and seven female, inclusive, which means six over seven. So probability in six and seven. And that equal to six plus seven. I mean, the reason I didn't use autosome this time is only two different cases. Okay. So now, uh, because you don't see whole sentences here, then click that and then right click and format cell and make alignment and the wrap the text, then you will see that. Now, so next question is exactly six people selected greater than or equal to the mean. So, which means you need to find out this probability from now on. Okay, but we will use the exactly same uh, algorithm. Okay, let's begin. So, equals binomials E, I, and O. Then you see the first one. Click that. They always our target number first, zero, comma, uh, n. So again, we keep using this number. So don't forget the dollar sign and click. And what's the probability? Oh, we don't know yet. So before we're doing it, I'm gonna find out this probability first. So ESC first. Now, what's the uh, greater than or equal to, which is 0.4? So, what's it? 0.4. Okay, let's do it again. So, equal to binomial distribution and this number, comma, now fixed number, fixed, fixed number, don't forget dollar sign, and comma. Uh, true probability this one, but also we keep using it. So don't forget dollar sign. And then we found out true probability. Then next one must be false. And then close parenthesis enter. Then this is the uh, out of ten people. Uh, nobody got greater than or equal to zero. Mm -hmm. And you copy this. You copy this and then scroll down and you got the other property. Okay. All right. Then let's start solving the problem. So exactly six people. So probability exactly six people. That equal to this one. That's it. Now more than five people. More than five people means six, seven, eight. Nine, something like that. Okay, so probability more than five. Then that equal to, oh, I just made all of them. Now six through rest of them. Oops. Let's do it one more time. All of them. Six through ten. Enter. Then that's the answer for this problem. Okay, uh, I really hope this video help you to calculate the binary probability. And then I'm gonna see you with the next video. Okay, bye.